around Lüneburg. We have been thinking what we could do between seasons so you get a little bit of entertainment. So we decided that we we're going to show you a little bit where yeah. I'm from. And um, yeah. that's it. This is my hometown, Lüneburg. As I said, it's about 70,000 inhabitants. And this is where I grew up. Where I went to school. Where I used to sing in the church choir. My old rowing club. My favorite running track. Canon camcorder and it's gotten a little bit old it's about three years old now and um, it did a really good job uh, I think maybe some of you have noticed that I filmed quite a bit with it in season two and now all the salt water all the wind and splashes of tumbling about maybe falling off stuff have shown their traces and um, it was time to get an upgrade of a new Sony camcorder which has 4K which is really awesome and it has this little stabilizing thing inside so when I walk with the camera it doesn't shake that much anymore it's a little bit like a gimbal and some people have already said that they were a bit annoyed about all the shaking so I hope it's gonna be better with this one and it's pretty exciting we actually were gonna wait until we reach a certain goal on Patreon before we upgrade the camera but I kind of wanted to have it for when I go back, so we got it now. And Patrice is here. Abracadabra. He's trying to teach me a little bit how to improve my filming. And we need his car too. Okay. Righty ho. This is where I grew up, um, this is where my parents work, it's my dad's pharmacy, the unicorn pharmacy and that's where I lived until I was about 15, 16 and you see those three windows of the third row from the top, that's where my room was. the drone <laughs> because uh, Patrice nearly lost control of it it's like yeah it flies really high really high like 500 meters like mm. so it went like 120 meters high and he's like getting all quiet because he actually lost control of the whole thing but it's back <laughs> it's back here safely <laughs> made it back to the ground but that's that is why I haven't touched my drone yet because I'm just super scared to lose it it's just so expensive and if you lose it then you lose it I mean it's got this coming homecoming function but then you gotta know where it is right Kirche, Johannes Church, and um, I used to sing at a church choir there for 10 years. I started when I was really little, I couldn't even read, I think I was four, and I sang there until I was 14. Yep, well, that's my history, church choir. <laughs> school for some time and uh, the funny thing is my dad went to school here too when he was a kid ah! at my first day at school there's uh, some people from 
from the newspaper and they interviewed me um, for about my first day at school and they asked me for my hobbies and one of them I just read about it again I said uh, collecting seashells was one of my hobbies So this is where I used to spend uh, most time of my youth. Um, I think I started rowing when I was nine and I stopped when I went to England um, when I was 16 I think. So yeah, this is where I went every day to go rowing and uh, I think I had my first competition when I was 11 and um, yeah, I was rowing by myself because rowing wasn't that popular when I was young. I was uh, rowing a, a lightweight uh, skiff, so that was uh, my category. This is where the boats are. The first row boat I rode was called uh, Dragonfly. It was blue, like that one down there. Libelle, that's dragonfly and German. So those must have been the ones that I used when I was a kid. Yeah, it was beautiful because I love being on the water. So it was a perfect sport for me. Actually, my parents row as well. They got to know each other on a rowing vacation. So they were in the rowing club. I was in a rowing club and it was uh, nice. I really loved it. It's just, it's, it's a similar piece that you have when you sail, actually, when you row, because it's this, this crazy silence around you and you just, it's such a, it's such a smooth sport. It's so, I don't know, energetic and beautiful. Set up our little video system here. It's trying to teach me how to do real video. This is my favorite running track ever. It's just outside the house of my parents where I'm living at the moment when I'm here in Germany. And uh, this is where I usually run in the mornings. And it's just awesome because it's a really pretty forest and I love it. You can do half half a round which is 5k so half an hour or the big round which is 10k in an hour. Not quite holding yet. <laughs> The only downside is it's usually quite packed. Not so much so if you go like when it's minus six in the morning. I hope you enjoyed this little special episode about my hometown between seasons. Actually, it's not too long until season three is gonna start, so stay tuned. But more about that in March. <laughs>